Hello everyone, bringing you a video today uh, talking a little bit about my family history in relation to the Great War, uh, which is obviously I thought would be an appropriate topic to talk about on Remembrance Sunday. Um, the, 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 these are basically relatives I've been able to find out about in terms of their, their military service. Um, two great grandfathers and two great uncles. Um, great grandfather and great uncles, uh, great, great grandfather and great great uncles on my mother's side and great grandfather on my father's side of the family. Um, so we'll get into talking a little bit about their military service now. My great-grandfather George Fisher on my mother's side uh, was conscripted uh, whilst both his brothers volunteered and enlisted locally uh, to where I now live. The family has quite, long, quite a long history here. George joined the army on the 12th of September 1916, obviously after conscription had been introduced, uh, and would go on to serve as a gunner in the Royal Field Artillery in France. As far as I can make out, uh, his service was relatively uneventful. Um, in that regard, he was one of the lucky ones, uh, and he would thankfully survive the war. Um, his brothers were not so lucky. My great uncle William Fisher joined the 7th Service Battalion uh, of the Loyal North Lancashire Regiment, and this the service designation uh, was for those battalions formed as part of Kitchener's new army. Uh, he joined in 1914, and he arrived in France on the 17th of July 1915. A little over a year later, he was registered as presumed dead uh, on the 23rd of July 1916, most likely killed during the assault on enemy positions by the battalion uh, near Bazentin Le Petit as part of the then ongoing Somme offensive. Meanwhile, my great great uncle Thomas Fisher joined the 16th Service Battalion of the Manchester Regiment in 1914 and would arrive in France on the 8th of November 1915. Uh, Thomas was presumed to have died on the first day of the Somme offensive. Um, the battalion's objective on the 1st of July was the German positions at Montauban Alley, uh, which was a key part of the German defences around the village of Montauban, and Thomas was most likely killed at some point during the attack. Uh, meanwhile, my great-grandfather on my father's side, Henry Stimson, joined the Royal Field Artillery in 1914, uh, initially arriving in France in November 1915. Uh, during his service, he would be redeployed to Mesopotamia, and serving through the war in the rank of gunner, uh, but in the role of farrier, um, of course, the artillery at that point being primarily horse-drawn. During the Mesopotamian campaign, uh, he was wounded quite severely and affected very badly by dehydration, the effects of which would stay with him for the rest of his life. And due to the seriousness of his wounds, uh, he was misreported dead uh, to his mother, who received quite the shock when he finally returned home uh, with the help of the Salvation Army. So there we are, that's the service of some of my relatives during the Great War. Um, Henry uh, is my, my, my great grandfather. Henry is a, the family member we have the most sort of oral history passed passed down uh, stories about his um, his service in returning home and sort of you know obviously his mother thinking he was he was dead uh, and being surprised by that. On the other side, unfortunately, um, my grandfather, uh, my mother's father, um, passed away when he was well when she was quite young. So some of that history has been lost. Um, obviously, um, great grandfather, I don't fully know. Um, of his uh, any stories of his service and so forth, but apparently his service was quite uneventful in contrast to um, his brothers, uh, which is a, a sad story. Um, interestingly, of course, both killed on the Somme, as many uh, soldiers in in Kitchener's new army were. Uh, Henry, uh, going back to my father's side of the family, uh, Henry's uh, also the, materially we have more uh, from his service. I have his medals here, uh, his service medals. We have the fourteen fifteen star, the uh, war medal and the victory medal, um, Pip, Squeak and Wilfred uh, in soldier's parlance. Um, I don't believe these were uh, well that well received. Um, they were put away in a drawer and forgotten about, uh, which was not uncommon. Um, it, not many men came away from the war and didn't really think uh, the medals were worth much at the end of it all. Uh, but I've had them remounted, obviously, with the correct ribbons um, to preserve the memory basically and also due to my interest in, in the history, the military history and the family history of it. So I've had those remounted there uh, and I keep them safe. The photographs you'll have seen um, in that little excerpt, the photographs uh, relating to my mother's side of the family um, are uh, st stock essentially of, of photographs I've taken to just illustrate their service. The photographs from Mesopotamia uh, and uh, Henry in tropical uniform, the studio photograph, are original to his service. So they are uh, photographs that we have of, of him during his service. Um, so there it is. I just thought this would be an interesting topic to cover for Remembrance Sunday. 
um, and a part of the act of rem remembrance, uh, promulgating their story a little bit and, and talking about them. I think that looking into family history can often be a very good way of, of reducing down the bigger picture stuff quite well. I mean, obviously, the Great War has a huge impact in terms of social history, technology, uh, war fighting itself. Um, and that is very, very interesting to look at. Um, but also it, it can be very helpful. Uh, or it can be very uh, rewarding to look down at the smaller picture stuff and try and find out about individual soldiers' service and so forth, be it a relative or be it not, just reading someone's reading off someone's uh, individual passage through the war. Um, and uh, obviously, as I say, it links into the bigger picture, talking about the two great great uncles who who fell on the on the Somme uh, during various parts of the battle. Um, so there it is, as I say, it's certainly something I would recommend people doing. Uh, if you do think you have relatives who served during the Great, Do Great War, there are lots of resources out there that you can use to research that now. So I, I would definitely uh, recommend doing so. Uh, but that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. So until next time, bye for now.